Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and I think today was the day they actually released Fun. Okay, so it's been something that people have been hearing about for a while. It's essentially another JavaScript runtime. So again, the original one was like Node, as far as like running JavaScript outside of the browser. Then there was Deno, which was written in Rust. So I think Node was written in like C++ um, or C, not sure which one. Then you have Deno, which is written in Rust for the speed benefits um, and safety benefits of using Rust, and then Bun is written in Zig, another low-level language. So there's a lot of like newer, sort of lesser-known lower-level languages, such as like Odin, Jai, Zig. This is written in Zig. Okay. So I've already installed it, but basically, literally, to install it, you have to you have to be working out of some sort of Unix-based system. So they don't have like a Windows installer yet. So if you're on Windows, you would use Windows Subsystem for Linux. And then you would just do it from like that sub Linux install. But like you see here, uh, let me scroll up. I did the install. I ran the script. It was installed. And then after you install it, then you have to just take kind of add this to your path. So you have to make sure that these two environmental variables are added to like your bash RC or to a connected file, something that's going to run on startup. Okay. So I did that. I added it to my bash RC, um, which if you've installed stuff in Unix based systems, you've probably added stuff to like your bash RC or your Zush RC. Um, on Mac. Um, so you probably have done that in the past if you're watching this video. Okay, so I'm going to clear all that out. Actually, I'm going to just close this window altogether and I'm going to open up VS Code. And let's just double check that it was installed correctly. I should be able to run, do like the whole help command. That's always a good way to test if something was installed correctly. I can just type in like bun dash dash help. Let's see. And I'm see I'm seeing like actual help output. So that means this was installed correctly. Okay, now some of the benefits of Bun is mainly like speed. Okay, it's written to be super, super fast when it uses a different JavaScript engine, so it doesn't actually use V8 like Node, Deno, and most browsers do. Um, it uses um, the WebKit based one, which I forget the exact name of, but that's one of the reasons why it has speed, uh, speed benefits. Um, more manual memory management using Zig. Okay. Um, so it's fast and you can see here some benchmarks and again, uh, you know, these are oftentimes when you see benchmarks are oftentimes like just seeing how you can do something very simple. It doesn't necessarily mean when you start doing more complex things that the benefits will be as stark. So in time we'll tell to see like, Hey, like, you know, are these benchmarks as awesome as, as we see here, but still very promising. Um, and there's actually a lot of other really cool features. Like you have things like fetch. Uh, WebSocket readable stream. So if you work in the browser and you like, you see how these like APIs are already implemented in the browser, they're implement, implemented like that out of the box. So it's not like you have to install any libraries. You can use what you're used to in the browser here. This is a very similar sort of promise that like Deno has in the sense of trying to like, embrace existing web standards. You can use Node modules. So all those NPM libraries you've been using up till now, you can keep using them here. It, it has like a Node modules compliant API, um, but under the hood, it's still using uh, ESM uh, ECMAScript modules like Deno, but it does have this sort of like sort of way of saying, okay, hey, well, we know how Node works, so let's adapt to that so that way you can continue using your your Node modules uh, without having to like learn a whole new module system. You can transpile TypeScript and JSX without having to do anything else. So like you could literally write files in JSX without having to create like a whole Webpack or V. It'll all get transpiled, which is really really cool. Um, this is just more like stuff about like, uh, TS config. So paths are just basically they'll create like synonyms for different paths. So the idea is you don't have to rely on third party libraries to do it. Uh, the transpiler, the thing that actually does all this translation is its own like API or library that you can use within bun. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, you, you can do file system stuff. Let me see. Here's one of the really good ones. Um, you can use dot env files without having to like install a third party library, which is awesome. Um, it has SQLite built in, so you don't have to install SQLite. You can actually use SQLite out of the box with Bun, um, and so forth and so forth. There's a lot of really cool stuff. So let's try it out. Again, I, I literally just installed it before recording this video. So according to them, I should be able to just literally put this in a file. So let's just copy that code. So we'll just make a file called HTTP.js. Okay, and see, like, literally, I'm just writing this out. So, like, I'm not installing any libraries. So, I don't, like, I have to install Express. I'm not even importing any libraries. 
Um, export default. Let's kind of see what the syntax is here. Default port. We're specifying a port. Um, and then here we're using um, a fetch request, return new response, welcome to bun. Interesting how that's all set up. We'll learn more about that later on. But let's just run the file. And then to run the file, after we put that in the file, we just do bun run. So kind of like uh, you would do like deno run um, in this case, or you know, do like node whatever. So it's going to be run http.js. And this should allow us to like call that website in the browser. So bun run http.js. Let's see if that works. Okay, it looks like it's running because then we didn't have any kind of output. Um, so let's go to localhost. 3000 welcome to bun so it works okay so the runtime is working so you see it's pretty pretty easy to use okay and then you here you can see all this command so i can like let's like let's say i want to install something that i am used to using something like let's say i want to install express bun install express let's see what it does okay could not find a package.json file okay so it looks like we have to create a package.json file let me just see if it has a way of doing it built in or do i have to use node to do that Bun run the package that uses faster than npm run. Well, let's see here. Let, let, I'm just going to assume that maybe it works like node and I can do bun init. So let's try that. I mean, that seemed to be a recognized command. Well, let's just see bun bun dash help. Okay, do I see anything here? Install dependencies, add a dependency to a package.json, run a package, start a new project from a template. Okay, that might be what we want. Dev, sorry, dev server. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Bundle dependencies of input files into a dot bun. Uh, add, remove, upgrade, get the latest version of bun. Okay, that's always nice to have upgrade built in. Always really, I remember that used to really annoy me with Go, where I had to like go. Actually, I think it's still an issue with Go, where I have to like I run a script every time I want to upgrade it. Uh, Discord help open bun's Discord server. That's a neat, nice little touch. Um, print this help menu. Install shell completions and for tap computation. Okay, well let's see here. Let's do bun create next. Let's just see what happens if I just do bun create. Um, let's see what it said. Welcome to bun create a new project by pasting any of the following. Bun create Discord interactions. Bun create next next app. Bun create React React app. You can also create a GitHub repository. Bun create. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so you can just kind of work with any existing project. So, um, bun create. Well, actually, I'll just do this npm init dash y because I want to start off with a blank package.json file. And let's just do bun install express. And see how fast that was installed? Like, that was really, really fast. Like, I've never seen express installed that fast. Um, and that's another benefit where you can download packages a lot faster. It's just fast. Okay, so this is definitely something I will start playing with. I'm going to see if I can actually, so I should be able to actually run maybe some of my older projects just straight here with bun without having to do any kind of conversion, which isn't always the case with Deno. There, it is different enough that certain things you have to do. And let's do another thing. Let's create a .env file. And let's put cheese in here. Cheese equals Gouda. And let's just see how, how what's the syntax they have for using the .env variables. Go back to .env, require .env. Oh, they don't actually have. Uh, bun install. Let's see here, give docs. I just want to see like what would be the syntax for the .en to access the .env. Okay, so it's going to be the same. Files automatically loaded to process.env and bun.env. Okay, cool. So that means I should be able to do this through this, and let's just test out if that's the case. Console.log bun.env.gs. That should print out Gouda. Console.log process.env.gs. And that should print Gouda as well. So let's run the file again. Bun run HTTPS. And yeah, that worked. Okay, see, I didn't have to install any like .env modules. That's neat. I'm liking this. I'm down. I'm down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. My name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Make sure to head over and follow me on Twitter at alexmercedcoder. And subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit that like button. 
uh, and subscribe. I'm always putting out new content. There's thousands of videos on anything you'd want to know already existing. So do explore the channel and make sure to check out grokoverflow.com where you can find my blog. Lots of blog posts on lots of different topics. Um, and you can find my videos all organized here as well for easy finding. And you can also find a cool list of podcasts. I'll see you all later. Have a great day and enjoy.